Welcome, everyone. On behalf of Crime Stoppers of York Region, it's Crime Stoppers Month across Canada, and we welcome you here today. My name is Dave Forster. I'll be your MC this morning. Um, we're going to hear from our distinguished guests in a few minutes, but uh, I'd just like to acknowledge a couple other people that are with us here today as well. Um, we have uh, Superintendent Andre Crawford, Superintendent Graham Turrell, and Staff Sergeant Lynn Rooney, all from York Regional Police. We thank you for coming today. Our um, first guest this morning uh, probably doesn't need much of an introduction to uh, most of us here. I'm going to ask uh, Chief Eric Jolly if he'd like to come up and say a few words, please. This month, uh, Crime Stoppers' theme is building on a strong foundation, which is particularly significant to our service because building a strong foundation is what we strive to do each and every day. Whether we're patrolling the streets or supporting our youth, we know that focusing on a safer today will lead to building a better tomorrow. A large part of building a strong foundation is also ensuring our community is a place where our youth can live and thrive. It is therefore fitting that this year's student Crime Stoppers theme is bullying. Students may encounter bullying at any time, whether at school, work, or while out with friends. Research tells us that 57% of the cases, bullying stops within 10 seconds when someone speaks up. Without some type of intervention, however, the bullying will continue. By supporting our youth in this cause, we are teaching a very important lesson early on in helping build a stronger foundation for tomorrow. The lesson is that silence cannot be tolerated. If something happens in our community that keeps any citizen from feeling safe and secure, we need to speak up. I just met uh, Jake Zeldin or Little Jacks for the first time this morning, uh, but uh, a very impressive young man indeed. Um, Jake's Toronto-based, uh, AKA Little Jacks. He's been rapping for two years and has already taken the city uh, by storm. Listen to him rhyme, you would never know that he is a stutter or that he was just 13 years old. He has a talent and a creativity well beyond his years that leaves audiences speechless. His mother, Robin Zeldin, says they worked with a variety of speech therapists and spent thousands of dollars. Rap was the only remedy that allowed him to come out of his shell and to share his talent with others. Despite being teased by fellow students and teachers since his first day of school, Jake's motivation, his artistic passion, and raw talent has won him not only the respect of his peers, but he has grabbed the attention of the music industry executives. Whether performing for a crowd or for his idol Drake, Jake is a confident young man who has found his calling as an artist and a means to combat a stutter that once plagued him. No further ado, I'm going to ask Little Jax to come to the front, please. So right now, I'm going to show, show you what I could do in rap. So clap your hands like this. Yeah. Jakey, Jakey, boy, you're gonna can't say hey. When I talk, I said, when a rabbit goes away. Got a story and this is how it goes. They call me Lil Jackson, I'm 13 years old. Used to sit watching MTV. Used to dream that I would Jay-Z put my rock in the air. People stop and stare, but that was all make-believe. I get talked over, I get ignored. I was getting really bored. Oh, people being mean, even teaching me the scene. Say, uh, 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 at me. There were people whispering a poke in. I'm thinking, man, you must be joking. So I would tune out and I would just draw. Making the words up as Camelot. Hey. Crime Stoppers is a three way partnership. In fact, it's a four way partnership. It's the board of directors, it's our friends at the media, a partnership with York Regional Police, and the public. Let's not forget the public, because they're the ones that make it happen. I'd like to share some statistics from last year as to what some of our accomplishments were. 1,688 tips in total last year were received by York Region. 1,015 of those were received by phone, 580 over the internet, and 93 tips 
via text. It resulted in 580 charges being laid, $87,000 in recovery of stolen property, $1.2 million in illegal drugs being seized, and 11 weapons removed from the streets of York Region. And we paid over $13,000 in rewards in 2012. In 2012, we also introduced both Twitter and Facebook as part of the arsenal that the public have to get tips to Crime Stoppers so we can get them on to our partners, York Regional Police. Crime Stoppers International held its annual conference in the U.S. in uh, October of 2012. And um, there's always an awards segment as a component of the international awards where programs are looked at for their accomplishments, their contributions, their media relationships um, that uh, have taken place over the uh, past year. Um, they give out roughly 31 international awards. And I'm very, very proud to say that Canada was the recipient of 16 of the 31 international awards. And more significantly, Ontario programs won 14 of the 16 uh, Canadian awards that were presented at the Crime Stoppers International Conference. And I think that's a real tribute and compliment to the work that's done by people here in Ontario especially. We have 38 programs uh, in Ontario, um, of which uh, I'm very proud to say that Crime Stoppers of York Region is looked upon as one of the leading programs uh, in our province. And uh, many things that are done here in York Region um, are... Uh, are done other, uh, in other areas uh, um, after we've led the way. So uh, again, my compliments to the Board of Directors of Crime Stoppers of York Region. As Dave alluded to when he was talking about uh, the conference in uh, the United States, I was uh, privileged to attend with him uh, in Nevada to, uh, for this conference. And Crime Stoppers of York Region did win an award. And this award was given to uh, Crime Stoppers of York Region and presented to Dave and myself. Um, and what it is, it's a productivity award for communities one to three million people. And from 2011 to 2012, Crime Stoppers of York Region, through their tips and our dedicated investigators, um, recovered over $20 million in property in one year. And that is the biggest amount of property recovered of any Crime Stoppers organization in the world. So that's a heck of an award. So uh, good to the board and good to the public for providing us those tips.